Boo! Hello there. I'm Maxwell and welcome back to the medium. Now we're gonna start where we left off. Vivienne? Just Vivienne? Vivienne. Probably just a stage name. The artist formerly known as Vivienne. Alrighty then. Wow, the attention to detail is really good. That name, it's everywhere. But that wasn't the real you. Damn, look at that. Is that spiderweb? That's looking a little bit clunky. Yeah. This wasn't her room. I'm guessing her manager's? There. That's her room. Someone couldn't even let her have her privacy. Yeah, I was gonna say, like, why would... Why would there be a hole in the wall? And who would spy on that? Oh, there's a secret door. When we enter the spirit world. Let's see this what's where it happened. behind uh, here. Of all the places. How come I can't look at that? You? What are you? No! Get out! Ah! No! Uh, no, not pleasant. Is this the face of the other lady? I don't think I got the other lady from that, uh... There was two people back... Back there I didn't get. I didn't get the lady done. I, I think this is the lady's face. Right. Still no name. Can I go forward? There's gotta be something. There's gotta be something. Alright. Okay. Let's find out who you really were, Vivian. Yeah. I don't know why I need to know who you are, but I'll huh. go with it. The page was torn out. I can't make out the numbers. Uh, um, I, I mean, you got the first four here. You got five, eight, nine, six. Oh, uh, you need the rest of the numbers to ring someone. I get it, I get it. Anything around this way, no? I've noticed this is, this place getting progressively darker the more I journey into it. And let's... I guess one of these Ellie and Tori. is to your true self. But which one is it? Maybe one of them's her and then the other one's her lover. Hey, that, that's the impression I got from that. So, uh... I still don't know her real name. Just words. Sounds without meaning. I still don't know her real name. I'm trying to open the door, but I'm... Sounds without meaning. Oh. I, I can't go that way? What? Aha, we found it. Okay, last one. I can barely <clears throat> feel my wrist. I don't care. I just want to go to bed. I need to be alone. Fascinating. She wants to be alone. Well, she's a performer, so she, it's very demanding. Uh, are we gonna find anything here? Partial numbers. One of these must have meant something to her. All right, let's go. We got it. There. A bunch of numbers. Some would say. We ring I it. I sensed there was a lot more to them. Let's ring it on the phone. Oh my god, Ellie! I thought you were... No, no, I'm... I'm really happy to hear from you. Why didn't you call sooner? You did? Her name's Tori, but... right? Eugene, that slippery son of a bitch. Ellie. She was very special to her. You don't need to be a medium to see it. So, if you were talking to Ellie, that means Tori. It's you. The oh, real yeah. you. That's your name. Yeah. It made sense, really. A name is more than what everyone calls you. 
It's what you feel yourself to be. Right. Okay. Let's go. <laughs> we can finally get out of here. Okay, let's go. I'm getting the same vibes as before where I fell back down. Is there like going to be like a lie, bunch of lotus coming around? Good. Putting that curse of mine to good use. Moments like that used to keep me going. Now, I'm not sure anymore. Okay. I'm back here? What? What? Why am I back here? I'm still trying to hunt for friggin' Thomas. Oh, I have the key. For the room. And we already done that. Those bolt cutters again. How do I get them? Gotta be a way to reach them. Yeah, but how do I... Maybe we. Oh, maybe. I see two doors. Maybe one will lead from here. No, it's blocked. The other side. And, oh, maybe we have to go into the other dimension. Aha! We got it. Finally. I don't think we'd come back to this land. I think we just left it behind, but now, now we came back. You can be free now. Yeah, we saved your ass. <laughs> Go on, get out of here, you rascal. You You're free. Sent them away. That better bastard better. better not come back and friggin' haunt me. Oh. Anywhere is better than here. Yeah, can I, can, 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 I, can I pick it up now? I know you just let me pick you up already. I know, right. What's this? Another entrance? Haha, <laughs> yeah. Interdimensional travel. Yes. Fucking finally. Time to get back to the day room. All that just to get these goddamn bolt cutters, bro. That's. What the hell is this game? Alright, let's see what this is. Goddamn people's names. Mr. Someone is being unreasonable, to put it mildly. I'm a nurse, not a nanny. I understand that he needs someone to keep an eye on her, but I have my hands full as it is. Even putting aside all my other duties, there's poor Mr. Someone to take care of. Still, I try my best. At least the girl's quiet, keeps to herself, mostly. Likes talking to her imaginary friends, but I figure it's quite normal for someone her age. Sometimes I can hear her playing out full conversations and I'd swear it sounds like two people talking. Yeah, there was something wrong with this girl before like she even came here. If she's like having full on conversations like, you know, I want to I want to get a check just to be sure. She's really gifted. I guess it runs in the family. Yes, I Well, Still, should have got it tested. You know, I'm just saying. That's just my hunch. This place. This is where it started. Well, well, well. Hello, my love. It's your favorite nurse. Are you in there? Even the speck of you left. I hope so. Because I want you to feel everything. Whoa. 
What am I listening to? The nurse. The nurse is the murderer. Her first. What? But why? Because she is the nurse. That's why. Uh, let's see what we're doing here. Yeah. So worth it. Really? Oh, that's sarcastic. I was gonna say that's not friggin' worth it. That's friggin' annoying. Wait, wait, wait. Let's see what's upstairs. Let's see what's upstairs. What's what's this way? Nothing. Okay then. We did all that just to come back downstairs. This lady should at least just, like, carry, like, gear with her just to, like, come here and do all the stuff, but I digress. Kind of sounds like a spy name. Cutters. Bolt cutters. Huh. Or a movie star, like, in a movie you don't use your real name for. Right. Why is this lady talking to herself? By name it is. Why are there so many chains? Is this trying to stop that nurse on these doors? Those are the real questions we need to answer. What's this way? Okay, Marianne. Let's see what sadness wanted me to see. I hope she's all right. I'm getting some bad vibes. Oh, we're back to the start. That thing better not come after us. I swear, I swear that thing comes after us. I'm gonna friggin' leg it. Can we go this way? Alrighty. Finally. Okay, here we go. Marianne? <gasps> there you are. Thank God. You're all right. I was so worried. Oh, yeah. That thing almost got me. What the hell is it? Uh, it came from shame. Uh, from helplessness. From rage. Rage. It's like anger, but more. Once it got out, we couldn't stop it. It ain't all of them, Marianne. I like the attention oh, to detail to that <laughs> little girl's arm that's missing. I'm the only one left. It's, it's okay, Sadness. I'm here now. No, no. It, it'll eat you too. It, just like the others. I won't let it hurt you, I promise. Okay, floating ball in reality. Tell me something about this place. The spirit world exists confirmed. Who used to play here? <laughs> With Richard? Is he one of your friends? Uh, no. But he was smart. Maybe what does Richard have to do with Thomas again? I forgot. He was smart. Wait, is he? Uh, a bad thing happened to him. I remember he, he became hollow, like a puppet. He... Oh, I remember. Marianne, I don't want to see him. What? 
Why not? What, what do you remember? No. Don't tell them. Well, it, it's don't okay. Tell you don't have to tell me. But you should still come with me so that I can keep you safe. No. No, Marianne. The sadness. No, never again. Why did you bring me here? Yeah. It was then I realized there was something she wanted me to see with my own eyes. Okay then, let's go and find out what that is. Let's see what sadness wants. Into the day room. Okay. Hmm. I'm still not gonna get used to that. Richard? Are you there? We got think it. He would be better off in a nursing home. What about his family? Richard doesn't have any family. Oh, the poor man. It's like he's somewhere else. We were close once, you know. I mean, not that close, but. All right. I'll take care of him. Hollow like a puppet. Isn't that what sadness said? Hmm. Okay, what else is there to explore here? A sheet of music. Well, at least part of it. Alrighty. What else do we have around here? Drink of horse. Gather round, children. I want you to meet Lilian. She's going to be joining our painting class. But, uh, why can't I play with my friends, Uncle Richard? Your friends? Oh, Lilian, I, I promised your father you would spend some time with the other children. Friends? Alrighty, let's see what we've got here. I spent a few years trying to steer him in the right direction, trying to make him see the depths of his potential. He kept refusing, calming that he was no painter and that he saw our little get-togethers as therapy rather than an artistic expression. Eventually I wore him down. He agreed to enter the university but on the condition that it would be his field chosen. And so he started on his way to becoming an architect. At first, I was rather skeptical, thinking that he was throwing away greatness for mere competence. But deep inside, I guess I was glad to be the only one to bring his vision to life. And then he met her. Our painting sessions became few and far between. He no longer needed my help in dealing with his inner demons. Okay then. And we are blocked. Alright, more stuff. I remember the first time I met him. Working a simple factory job. Still more... Th of a boy than a man. Wide-eyed, constantly looking over his shoulder like a scared animal. His parents had died in the Warsaw Uprising of what he'd gone through in the years that followed. He did not want to speak and I never pressured him, but it soon became clear. He had no one else in this world. I could immediately tell that, despite his young age, he had seen things that no one of his age should. I could immediately tell he was a special. Okay. Does this have to do with Richard? 
the lag. I can't really tell. Aha, we got the other one. Whoa, 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 whoa. Combine. Okay, we're missing one more piece. That's gonna look for that piece. Okay. We need some supernatural powers places to get through there. Memories. Bad ones. Guilt. Humiliation. Rage. That glow. There's a sense of loneliness coming from it. It feels incomplete. Alright, more stuff. It became a habit of ours. We'd sat down, sketchbook at the ready, and then he'd close his eyes and start talking, describing all the things he saw in his mind. His eye. The horror and splendor of the world beyond our own. What started out as an innocent exercise in imagination ultimately became a bottomless well of inspiration. My hand wouldn't dare rest, sketching furiously as he described the indescribable. For a while, I wondered why he was so eager to share his visions with me. To him, they seemed to be a burden, a source of great pain and distress, but finally I understood. He sought to share them with someone who he saw them as a source of beauty rather than madness. What am I looking at? Yeah, get out of there. Wow, that took friggin' forever. Cause I didn't know the one simple thing, damn it. Alright, let's have a look. Let's see what we did. Another junction. Maybe it can show me a way out of here. Finally, we did. <laughs> we did it. It's uh, about time. Ah, oh, shit. We need to move it again. Freak me. What's on that table? Okay, taken away. Someone. What was that? Some evil person, maybe that nurse, took away someone from someone. 
Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Alright, we're in the other room. Let's see what this is. The spark's too weak to absorb. It's like it's missing something. Damn it, we're missing a piece of the piano. Oh, here it is. I love this melody. It reminds me of my childhood. Uh, at least the good parts of it. But mm. the bad parts, they're always there, aren't they? You're a very smart girl, Lily. You know that, don't you? You're special. Her voice, is that sadness? Hmm? Well, well, well. Stuff is getting real. Oh, well, what do we have here? A key. But won't. And. Ah, oh, I really do not like this thing. It's not that I find it gross or anything. It's just like it takes a long. I have to like move my mouse from the top of the mouse pad to the bottom of the mouse pad like 400 times. Just to open, like, slice it all the way down. Alright, we've got a key. Where are we going? Hmm. How are we going to open the door? Yeah, we're going inside. Open sesame. Let's see what's here. We're looking for one more piece of paper. And in sight. Come on, Richard. You were always there when I needed you. Let me return the favor. Ah, uh, I don't know, Thomas. What about my work? The university? Rich, I know they kicked you out. I'm guessing you finally managed to piss off the right people. Stay with us, old friend. Do it for They're me. friends? For them. So... He brought him here. Hmm. Wonder who he meant by them. Your guess is as good as mine, madam. So, that's how you found him? Yes. He was just lying there. He, uh... Mr. Reckley? I, I'm sorry. He was a friend. I just uh, need a moment. That's not true, Thomas. You thought he deserved it. Um. Okay then. Ah, we got it. Pieces of the score now. We get the power up and go through those butty butty flies. Alright, what's this? Once he got engaged, we grew apart for a while. Now that I think of it, I guess I was jealous. I no longer had him all for myself. In time, I warmed up to her as well. She was striking in both her beauty and in intellect. Eventually, I accepted the fact that he has found true happiness, or true love. Strong and pure, well, as pure as it can be, I guess. In any case, I was no longer needed. When the project came along, the one that would eventually be known as Inua, I pulled all my strings to get him what he wanted, even though I knew it would drive an even bigger wedge between us. I wanted to do my best for him. He was the closest to the son I ever had. Okay, then. Ooh, what a 
happened between the Richard and Thomas? We do not know. Alright, we got the musical. I like how I keep walking into walls. Give me your power. I just want more power. Nice song, but uh, we got to go on a roll. Into the beast we go. I could have probably ran through that. No, no, it would have killed me. It wouldn't have let me. To what the hell was that? It wouldn't have let me go through without getting the uh, force filled majiggy. And I'm. What's that giant? Is that a giant hand? Look at that. We are heading towards the second floor, where Thomas apparently is. Uncle Richard, my arms are getting tired. If that's sadness, for hours. Richard was an uncle. Almost done. You know, Lily, you remind me. Sadness was Lily. A girl I knew when I was very young. Did you love her? Yes. With a young, innocent love, free of the ferocity of adult lives. Richard. I'm getting a weird vibe from him. There's grief, sorrow, and something else. Okay then. Well, I'm gonna actually have a look over here because I can. And we've got another page. I was finished. They had to let me go. Me, Richard Tual Tualski. Is that what Sadness said? Tualski? Takowski. Takowski? Richard Ta Takowski. Blowski. Madowski. Whose works were recognized across the continent, whose imagination they, as they said, knew no bounds. Those very name became synonymous with fine art. All of that meant nothing to these soulless bureaucrats. To them I was just a liability, a source of dangerous liberal ideas. I felt betrayed, empty. I needed to get out, away from the hollow sickness of the city. But most of all, I needed a friend. And so, I sought him out. Was that Thomas? That you needed a friend with? Or did you need Thomas? Who needed who? Who needed what, when, why? And why am I getting stuck on that wheelchair? More stuff. Aren't you a bit old to be playing with dolls? Here, I bought it especially for you. Oh, a ribbon? It's beautiful. Thank you, Uncle Richard. Here, let me... Um, on the other hand, why don't you do it yourself? Ah, uh, what was that? It's like something stirred inside him. You you know more at this point, you lady. You probably know more than me. Why am I lagging so much in this game? So this is what he got. Her. Okay, what's going on here? Oh, I didn't mean to. Oh God! What have I done? What have you done? Yeah, but what has he done? What have you done? Well, okay, you don't know. I don't know. Let's go and find out what Richard's done. 
Is Richard a criminal? Did he kill everyone? Whoa! Why is that wheelchair moving? The butterflies. I had never felt anything so desperate. It was calling out to me. It wanted to show me something. <gasps> okay. The wheelchair is calling out to us, wants us to show us something. Ooh. The thief is going to steal something. God fucking damn it! Why is that a handsome looking thief? Oh, he's not a thief? What would you think of me? I failed you. I failed us. Is that Richard? Sounds like Thomas. It's all falling apart. What? Yes, I know. No, is he talking to? I need to be sure. There's got to be something around here. I think he's talking to everyone in the ghost dimension. You want what? Yep, he's talking to everyone in the ghost dimension. Fuck. The rage he feels there is the same rage I felt trying to find that last piece of paper and I couldn't find it. Look who finally decided to let me out of my cage. And only when you need my help. Surprise. Surprise. Okay, you know what? I'm not in the mood. Just tell me what you see. Come on. Come on. Yes. I can feel it. Okay. It's around here somewhere. Oh, well, that's real fucking specific. Hey, I'm trying to help here. Well, you know, sometimes I wonder. Well, it doesn't make it easier when you keep me in the dark for so long. Oh, Christ. Thanks for that, by the way. <laughs> Hell of a way to treat your soulmate. Damn it! There's nothing here! There is. Really? I'm never wrong about these things. You know that. Well, screw this. I should have known better than to listen to you. Wait. What? Damn. There. Where? What? His soul has a mind of its own. What? You building tension? Grab the fucking thing! Do you shut up? <laughs> uh. Listen to your soul, man. I think I think he's onto something. I think he, I think he's got the wits. He's obsessed. What is he? What have I done? We couldn't have known. 
I let him into my home. He was like a father to me. Who could he do this to her? Fucking bastard! Who could he? What did he do? I told you we couldn't trust anyone but ourselves. Keep it together. Think. What do we do now? Ooh. And when he comes back, oh, just whoa, 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 easy, Tiger. Remember what's at stake here. Just let me do what I do. You better do it fast. Because if you don't, I will kill him. Wow. That was pretty dramatic to look on there. Alright. Let's see what's going on here. Hmm? Thomas. Oh no, Richard. <gasps> yes, I, I knew that was Thomas, by the way. Wasn't anyway. Expecting you. Is uh, everything all right? My friend? Did you do it? Friend? Did I? What? My daughter. My 13 year old daughter. Oh, what did he do? I entrusted her to you. Thomas. What? Did you do it? I. I don't. Sketchbook. Forced myself to look through it. Well, this got really cover dark really cover. quickly. Every single fucking page. Kick his ass. Thomas. Kick his ass, Thomas. Which is a Thomas, bastard. Please, I, I'm already assuming what he's already done. Tommy, and I'll let you go. I, it wasn't me, Thomas. Then why do you have you the book, mate? There's this thing inside of me. Shut up. You have to believe me. I wanted to die. I'll make it quick. Thomas, I'm so sorry. She's my daughter! I never wanted any of this. I should never have come here. But you did. No one should do. Knowing what she means to me. Thomas, I, I swear, I'll go away. You'll never. Wait. But you. No. Let me out. Let me out. Let me in. Okay then. Ooh. It's a snake, mate. That looks so disgusting. Yee. I'm playing as right, the Richard. dead Thomas. This is your world. Show me what you're hiding. All right, we're inside Richard's world, eh? Let's find out. Is this where it started, Richard? The place that broke you, made you what you are. Well, things have definitely got a whole lot interesting now. I can't believe it. But unfortunately, I have to cut it out here. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.